Hi everyone, it's our final day of learning about the digestive system. So we have a fun project today. We're going to work in these books and it says the digestive system on it. And you'll need this paper too. And I don't think this one is in your packet. It wasn't in my packet. So it may be one that you have to print out, but it's right on the website for you to print out, okay? So if you don't have this one, you'll have to print it out. And then you'll also need some glue and scissors and some crayons. Okay, so let's get started. Let me share my camera here with you and you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. So I'll give you an overview and then we'll get to work on this project. So these are the different um, parts of the digestive system. You can see that's the mouth, the esophagus, the stomach, and then here's the small and large intestines. So let's look at our little book. So there's two different things that we'll be doing today. On this page, we'll glue in the different parts of the digestive system and we'll color them first and then we'll glue them in. And, oh, excuse me, and on this side, Here's the different parts. It says large intestine, mouth, small intestine, esophagus, and stomach. And we're going to label those with one, two, three, four, and five with numbers for the order that these, uh, that food goes through these different parts of the digestive system. So we'll kind of label them in order. So that's what we'll do today. So the first thing we're going to do is add some color to these parts of the digestive system. So let's think about what colors we'd use. So if you're coloring the mouth, what color do you think? We've done this a couple of times this week, so you might be familiar. I'm gonna color red. Okay, so we'll do this one red. And you can pause me and just color these on your own if you want to. Let's talk about the colors and then let's both pause and we'll come back. So maybe a red for the mouth, stomach, possibly a pink or like a peachy color, even a light brown. I've been using different browns to do my intestines. You could also use like a peachy color or a pink, esophagus, maybe pink. Um, okay, so go ahead and color those in. Let's all color our different pieces in and then we'll meet back together in a minute when we have that finished. Okay, so let's do that. So you should be back and have your um, different parts of the digestive system colored in. The next step is to cut those out. Now, do you see how there's the dotted lines around each of the different organs? You're going to cut right on those dotted lines, okay? So you're gonna cut each of these out. There's four things to cut out because the small intestines and the large intestines are together as one, Ooh, oh my gosh, there goes my paper. They're together as a one piece. So cut right along all those dotted lines. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you one of them that I've been cutting out the, do you remember what this piece is? Starts with E, esophagus. Here's my esophagus that I cut out. Okay, so remember you have four things to cut out. So go ahead and do your cutting and meet me back here. Hi. Okay, so you should be back with all of your pieces cut out. And now you'll need your glue for the next step. So let me show you. I'm gonna share my camera screen again with you. Okay, so we're going to glue these on over here to this screen. Zoom that out just a little bit so you can see it even a little bit better. So we're gonna start Let's see. Let's start down here with the last one and then we'll work our way up. So what is the last one? Yeah, that's the intestines, right? The small intestines and the large intestines. So let's see how they fit. You might have to turn it around a little bit to see how it fits. Looks like mine fits in just like that into those dotted lines. So remember, what I always say, put glue on the back of what you're gluing on and then glue it on. So we're getting glue onto this part. 
and then glue it on. So we'll get our intestines and there's the dotted line. So you can just get it right into those dotted lines, just like that, and then press it down. Oh, you know what? We might want the stomach. I'm gonna just lift this up a little bit because we might want the stomach to go under that. So let's do our stomach next. So I'm gonna put glue on my stomach. And if you need to pause me at any point to take a little bit more time or to catch up, please go ahead and do that. So let's see how this is, how does it fit? Uh, I think mine fits just like that, right in those lines. I'm gonna put it on like this. Uh, you might, I think, you can decide if you want your esophagus to go on top of the stomach or below, maybe on top. I'm gonna do mine on top, I guess. So that's the next part. Put glue on the esophagus. And then like that. Yep, had it right the first time. So right into your dots. Do those dotted lines like that. And then comes the mouth. Okay, so then we'll glue on the mouth. So if you need to pause me to catch up with your glue in, please do that so that you can have this page finished. And then, oh, there were some other pieces that I wanted to show you that were here, but um, there's the, right here, I'm just gonna unpeel mine a minute, the pancreas, the liver, and the gallbladder. And if you wanted to color those in, you can color those in too. Once we put these on, they kind of get covered up. Um, but those are also part of the digestive system. Remember the bile, um, is produced by the liver and the gallbladder and the enzymes in the pancreas help food be digested in the small intestines. So they all help with the digestion of food. Okay, so once we do, once you have this page finished, so pause me if you need to, to finish gluing those in, then we'll move over to this page. Now, we're going to need a pencil. So you'll need a pencil or something to write with. And we're going to label these with numbers in the order that food goes through them. So we have the large intestine, mouth, small intestine, esophagus, and stomach. Which of those is the first thing in the di process of digest digesting, digesting food? Which of those is the first thing that the food enters? And we'll put a number one by that. So what is it? What's this part? Yep, yeah, the mouth. So let's find the word mouth. Mm, what letter does that start with? That's an M. So find the one that starts with an M, mouth. And we'll put a number one by it, mouth. Right there, we'll put a number one. Okay, now after the mouth, food travels down the esophagus. We kind of say esophagus, but it starts with what letter? Uh, 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 or e. Yep, that's an E. So esophagus. Okay, so find the esophagus. And we'll put a two. There we go. Okay, and then, so mouth, esophagus. What's this part right here? This is our third one. The stomach, what letter does stomach start with? S that's an S and it has that st, st. So that's an S and a T together. St, st is S-T. And it's just one word, okay? So find stomach and we'll give that a one, two, three. That gets a three. So right here, stomach. And remember three, little curve, little curve for stomach. So, so far we have mouth, esophagus, stomach. Mouth, esophagus, stomach. And then these are the, what's this one? Small intestines, right, good for you. Sm 
is two letters together. They blend together, sm, s, m. So we're looking for the word small intestines. You don't get the number one, two, three, four, next to small intestine. Okay, right here, small intestine, we'll put a four. So remember, little line down, little line over, and cross it. Okay. After food passes through the small intestines, remember three to five hours in the small intestines, it enters the large intestine where it can stay sometimes for up to a couple days. Ooh, starts with what letter? L, large intestine. So this one we're doing a number five, four. Okay, large intestine is the word on top. So it's little line down, little line over, curve down and around, and then put a cap on it. Okay, so then we can look at our numbers. Mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine. And there's our labels for our parts over here. Mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine. Wow, it's so neat. It's just, it's absolutely amazing. So amazing. Okay, really nice job. You made it through this project. I'm really proud of you. There's a lot of steps today. So good for you. Pat on the back moment. <laughs> okay. So that's it for today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. See you later, my friends. Thanks for working hard.